So I just beat Rain Code the other day, and there is the big, like, glaring question that many of us have. Is Rain Code related to Danganronpa? Is it in the same universe? Is it parallel universe? I don't know, people think that Danganronpa has different timelines now, and I don't know if that's not true. <laughs> Or maybe it's a simulation within Danganronpa, uh, because I do believe that Raincoat is a simulation, there's a lot of evidence towards that, but that's for another day. <laughs> the big question now is, is Raincoat related to Danganronpa now that the game's out? What's the verdict? And the answer is pretty simple, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I don't even have to go into spoiler territory. Uh, it probably might be. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it any other way. It might be. There is a lot of evidence to show that it is, but it's questionable if we can trust that evidence. Uh, not because it might be from like an unreliable narrator or anything, it's more so just, is it an Easter egg or is it actual connection lore? Uh, because the big, big, I mean, we will get into some spoiler thing at the end. I, I don't want to talk too much about it because I, I'm not gonna lie, I've had that theory for years now, and so it's annoying that I haven't been able to get my video out on that because Raincoat potentially confirmed it already, which means I am potentially correct on uh, the big reveal at the end of Raincoat um, that could relate to Danganronpa. But anyway, I'm not talking about that today. I want to talk about the non-spoiler stuff that Raincoat offers. And it is from the loading screens. That is where we get a lot of information about the world of Raincoat and a lot of the characters that exist within it. And this is where we get the majority, not all, but the majority of the Danganronpa references. And so, basically, if you didn't notice or didn't read, the loading screens change and they give little, like, bits of information about, uh, stuff, like I just mentioned. But it updates every chapter, or throughout the chapter or something, I'm not too sure. But it randomizes it for you, and, uh, so I don't know if it's all new at the beginning of the chapter and I just slowly saw it throughout, uh, getting updated or not, or if it was random, I don't know what I'm talking about. And so what is also updated throughout is the kind of quantity of Danganronpa references. At first... First, there's kind of nothing, but then I believe it's chapter two, and that's where everything kind of just really starts to hit. And then chapter three is more references, and chapter four and five, they all start getting more and more uh, Danganronpa references. And so I'm going to kind of just go through all of them uh, in order of how, when I found them. So it's kind of order of chapter, but I don't know which chapter had which uh, reference. And so the first one is, the culprit is not among us. One of the popular plays performed by Etheria's Theater Club, a mystery where 15 trapped men and women are drawn into a string of murders, unique in that the culprit lurks within the audience. So that technically means that there is a 16th person who is pulling the strings from behind the scenes, which is literally Danganronpa 1. Um, so it, this is a very interesting... A lot of these references are based on the theater club from the uh, Etheria... Uh, girls school I assume what how are there men there though? I guess they just dressed up because it's an all-girls school that you go to and I believe this is Etheria That is the the school, but it's interesting that it's 15 men and women, but it doesn't matter That is a clear Danganronpa reference and so again, it's can you trust this? Is there actually something that these characters were referencing in universe? Uh, and I'll get to that in a minute. I'm just going to go over the rest of the references now, though. This one is one that I'm not too sure if it's a Danganronpa reference, but I could totally, like, connect it to V3. Far Away at the Bound of the World. One of the popular plays performed by the Etheria Academy's Theater Club. An adventure set in a fantasy world revealed in the climax to be a devastated future Earth all along. That could be World's End Club, or Isomium Files, or 999. I don't know any of those series too well. I have yet to play any of those games, but those are other works by Kodaka and Spike Shunsoft. So it's entirely possible that this could be referenced to them, but this does feel very similar to Danganronpa V3's climactic finale, uh, where it was revealed that the world had ended all along. Uh, so, I don't know, that's, to me, that could be a reference, but I, I don't know. But I added it in there just in case. But now we have, this is definitive proof that Danganronpa exists to some extent in Rain Code. And it is with the loading screen called What's Trending at the Academy. 
At Etheria Academy, the students are raving about Monomichi, a game in which a bear cub is raised. It can turn into a variety of different bears depending on its upbringing. Mono, Kuma, Mono, Michi. And this is, I think, a clear reference to Danganronpa 2, where you literally play this game. Mono Michi, I don't think it's called that, I think it's called like Bear Cub Raising Simulator or something, I don't know what the name of it is called, but it's, it's called something different, but it is literally the same game. So that's interesting, <laughs> I'll talk more about that later. Um, but to an extent, that does confirm, again, it's, this could be an Easter egg, or this could just, you know, it could be actual information. Um, but, but I'll get to that. Next up, we have the Amapal. Different versions of Amapal exist, but among these scarce limited edition releases, there is evidently a bear variant with differently colored left and right sides. Obviously, reference to Monokuma with a split back and white sides. I don't, I didn't have to explain that. But the Amapal has nothing really to do with Monokuma, or so it seems. Perhaps it could be a prototype if you want to say that Rainco takes place before Danganronpa, which is both possible and not possible. <laughs> it kind of deals with the big spoiler thing at the very end. Um, at the timeline, really, if if the, I almost don't want Rain Code to exist within the Danganronpa universe because if it does, it messes up everything I have been building for the past like six years. <laughs> I'm dying. But that is the last big Danganronpa reference in the uh, the loading screens. And so the big question is: Are these reliable, or are they just Easter eggs? And it's hard to say. It's not like these are an unreliable narrator. It's more so it's just like maybe they, the creators just decided to throw it in there as a little reference. I don't know. It really is hard to say because there are references to other games. There's a few, there's two Dragon Ball references that I saw. Uh, and so it's entirely possible that Kodaka and the other people working on the game made references to their other games, uh, which, I mean, the uh, Far Away at the Bound of the World could totally be a reference to a different game that I just don't know about. And so it could just be that. It could just be a reference. But it is interesting that it's in the loading screen because every single other bit of information shown in the loading screen is just accurate. There's a few things with uh, the masked man, Makoto. Uh, there's something about his masks that's described in the actual, the loading screens, and we see it play out in the game. And there's a certain researcher who does not wear shoes in the lab, and we see them without shoes in the lab. And it, there's just stuff that talks about the, the world itself, Rikon I Ward, and just the detective agency, and this and that. It talks about all these different groups and organizations, and they're all accurate. And so it is odd to me, from a design standpoint, why would you have all of these accurate pieces of information and then a few non-relevant Easter eggs? Right? And that's the thing, these aren't even the only Easter eggs in Danganronpa. I mean, there is the, at the beginning of the game, uh, Shinigami says, uh, when looking at a pink bear, You better be careful, Master, might suddenly start going, poo hoo hoo It's not a good Monokuma impression, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> It's clear, you know, there too, uh, there's so, it's not even in the loading screens anymore, but like this on its own, I would say is just a reference. Her going poo hoo hoo is, is whatever. But the fact that there's all of this other stuff does make me question it a little bit. And that's not the only potential Danganronpa reference in the loading screens, because one thing that we also get is other detectives, uh, information about them. Uh, for example, we have the Omen Detective, a master detective with the forte to predict the future. However, the range of the prediction is extremely narrow and limited. This detective was not summoned to Kanai Ward. That sounds exactly like Yasuhiro with his like 30% success rate or whatever. This feels like a reference to him. Then you have the Swindler Detective, a master detective who turned their advanced skills of deception and uh, cal cajolery into a forte. The detective was not someone to Kanai Ward. This is potentially a reference to, I forget the, the guy's name, but he is the ultimate swindler uh, in some translations. Uh, the the imposter, <laughs> the ultimate, ultimate imposter at the beginning of Danganronpa 2. That is uh, his ultimate. Again, in the English, it's translated in the credits as the swindler, uh, ultimate swindler. So it's, it's interesting. Then you have the invention detective, a master detective whose forte allows for on-the-spot assembly of inventions useful for an investigation. The detective was not someone to Kanai Ward. That's literally just Miyu, right? It's, although that a lot of these are kind of broad, but they do 
like there are certain characters that fit these kind of descriptions. And so with all of this, is Raincoat in the same universe as Danganronpa? I would kind of be inclined to say yes, because there is the Monomichi game, which is literally a thing in Danganronpa. And so now, because this exists, you have to ask the question, right? To, let's believe all of the loading screen stuff, because every single other piece of information shown in the loading screen is normal information about stuff that happens in the game and just describes you to the world, so why wouldn't you also believe this stuff? Uh, why wouldn't this also exist in the world outside of a, a reference? You have to ask, how does Danganronpa exist in Rain Code? Because in our world, it's a video game series. It's a TV show. In Danganronpa's universe, it is also those things. But it's also a murder actually, actually happened. The end of the world kind of happened and everything, right? The events of Danganronpa happened. And so you have to wonder, in Rain Code, is this just a universe with the Danganronpa games? Because it exists to some degree. Or is this uh, the actual world of Danganronpa? Where Team Danganronpa has already you know, spread their influence, which means that this has to be a sequel to most of the Danganronpa franchise, maybe not to V3, but to the majority of it. It takes place somewhere else in the world. It, it's really hard to say, right? There's no evidence from there. We can't really make any kind of verdict on whether or not it does exist in the same universe as Danganronpa, or if it's just Easter eggs, or if it is just like our world where the games do exist but they're just games and nothing more they're not based on any kind of uh, fact however it you do have to go into that spoiler territory at the end of the game which i'm not going to get into but that definitely changes things because if the loading screens are to be believed as true it cannot be a prequel to danganronpa just it probably couldn't <laughs> It doesn't make any sense for it to be a prequel because Danganronpa is already an established like franchise in this universe. And so if this is in the same universe as Danganronpa, it has to be a sequel to Danganronpa 3, probably prequel to Danganronpa V3. However, with the thing at the end of the game, I don't know. <laughs> because again, that's something that I've been researching uh, because Danganronpa actually does deal with that, uh, believe it or not. It is a very big part of the series, uh, kind of. That's something that not a lot of people know about. So at least I'm on the right track if they are in the same universe, but now it's just I have to apply it in a very interesting way because I thought that it was only for a small portion of the series, but with what Rain Code suggested, it could be a lot bigger than that. And that might explain a lot about Danganronpa 3 and how it was presented. I have to rewatch it. <laughs> But those are kind of just my overall thoughts of uh, whether or not V3, like whether or not Danganronpa takes place in the same universe as Rain Code, because it's entirely possible, uh, but they could just be Easter eggs. But if they're not Easter eggs, it exists in some way, just straight out. <laughs> it just, it does. Uh, so it's very interesting, and I'm very excited for the future of Rain Code. I don't expect any major crossovers to happen, even though it may take place in the same universe. Uh, I wouldn't hold my breath because there aren't any major, like, crossovers in Rain Code uh, outside of this, so I don't imagine any sequels will either. Maybe the third game or something would have an actual crossover. You see, like, Shuichi show up, uh, which would be sick, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that's all I have for today. For those watching for uh, Mishoku Tensei and just decided to watch this video because uh, you like watching my stuff, thank you. I'll probably get some Mishoku Tensei out at some point. I just don't really know what to talk about because... Not much has happened in Season 2, and I uh, am not going to do any more episode recap light novel stuff. I'm not doing that anymore. I hated it. <laughs> so, I'll figure out some other content to post with Mishoku Tensei, uh, but in terms of Danganronpa, I do want to get out those theories, because there's uh, I tried doing the uh, Danganronpa V3 Mega Theory series back in the day, but I was not in a good headspace, and I'm still not, but it is the new norm now, so... <laughs> I'm doing fine. So I'll, I'll probably finish that. I'll re-upload them and remake them and uh, actually get them presented out because, uh, yeah, V3, I think that it is cracked. It's solved. Um, at least I think so. But with Raincoat, I may have to completely scrap a good portion of what I've done because this is crazy. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and uh, subscribe for more uh, Danganronpa and Mishoku Tensei content. See you in the next video. Goodbye.